Hello and welcome to the Weekly Wednesday Lunchtime live stream on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. I am DDO's Community Manager, Cordovan, and I'll be with you for probably a little less than an hour here today. Normally we go for about an hour, but uh, I've got, got other pressing matters that are time boxing me a little bit, so I may have to duck out a little bit early today. In the meantime, though, I'm on Arganesson for a while. I'm going to kick off uh, probably for at least a few months here. I'll be on Argo, just kind of running around. I've got my level 17 Barbarian right now that uh, would be kind of awesome to get to level 20 before the uh, epic Destiny update next week. Yes. So that's probably the first bit of news we could talk about is that we currently have Update 51, A New Destiny is the name of it, and it's set for Wednesday, November 3rd. Now that could shift a little bit by the, the time everything is said and done, but that's our current plan. I've been working on the release notes uh, over the past couple of days and I probably have another day or two of work on that. So I can't really show that to you yet today, but uh, there's a lot in there, and you can see a lot of that already on the Lamania forums. So if you do want to get a sense of, of what the release notes are going to be for Update 51, head over to the Lamania forums and uh, check that out. Uh, also, did want to quick mention, this is the final weekend of Night Revels. It's also Halloween. I think a lot of, I don't know if everywhere celebrates Halloween, but uh, it's kind of a big deal. And that's happening this weekend, so pretty good time to run Night Revels if you're into that. I can talk a little bit about uh, Night Revels in general, or really anything else anyone else would like to talk about. That all sounds good to me. And uh, like I say, we're just going to kind of hang out here this, this hour and chill. So there we go. Uh, nice sword. Yeah, it's a cosmetic is what it is. And I can actually show you what I've got here on uh, Zentrati. Zentradi. It's not a T. It's a D. Totally different. Uh, and I've got the... Oh, Tale of the Scorpions, I guess what I'm using. I thought I was cosmeticifying it, but I guess not. And I am only level 17 here as well. Uh, do I have a cleric? Do I have a pocket cleric or not? Yes. So there we are. All right. Um, so let me uh, go through chat a little bit and see what's going on. Will I have to wear a mask in the SSG office and maintain social distancing? Well, the social distancing shouldn't be a problem. I think other than me and this other person, it's pretty much going to be an empty office. Uh, yes, though, uh, I will be wearing a mask while I'm in the office. The person doing the stream won't be uh, having to wear a mask on camera or anything. But yeah, I believe I probably will, as a matter of fact. Uh, really just out of a sense of uh, social propriety more than anything else. But it is something that that we are doing. So I haven't actually had to be in the office too much. I was in the office once uh, sometime in August. And before that, it had been about 18 months. So, uh, you know, there we are. But like I said, we have a, a bit of an emergency thing today where we've got a big live stream happening on the other game side. Uh, you know, we're getting ready to release update 51 on the DDO side next week. And then the week following, uh, the Lord of the Rings Online is releasing its next expansion. Uh, and so we have a, a preview, a landscape preview essentially on the Lord of the Rings side. That's happening this afternoon at 2 p.m. on their Twitch channel. But uh, unfortunately, the Nor'easter decided that the person doing the live stream, which isn't me, but uh, rather one of the landscape artists, world artists, lost power to their house and it still isn't back on. So it's like, uh, all right, we can make this happen. Uh, but someone's got to be there to get the stream room ready. Uh, like I say, those computers haven't been touched in a very long time. So, so as soon as I'm done uh, with the stream here, I'm probably going to pop into the office and uh, help get that ready to go at the last minute. But yeah, so next week though we've got update 51 happening on the DDO side. This is the final weekend of Night Revels. Hope people have, have been having a good time with that. I have noticed, as I believe many of you have, that we introduced a new system, right, to help 
give people options to not have to run the landscape here. But the way the system worked is that unless you were just kind of casually farming for Night Revel's keys and that, if you were just sort of running whatever you were going to do and then hoping you'd get Night Revel's keys, the drop rates are a little low. We are, we are aware of that, and for next year's Night Revels, or for whenever the Night Revels event comes back, I think what we'll probably do is find a way to up that drop rate significantly so that it more meets our goal of making the Dolores Graveyard an option, but not really the the only... It's not the only option, but the, the option that makes the most sense for the most number of people. We know it's a little low, in other words. Uh, and we're going to probably do something about that for next time around. But... You know, the good news is you can just do what you have been doing if you are looking to kind of min-max the, the best key and chocolate ratio. You can still just do what, what people have done for a few years now and uh, just do the thing in the graveyard. So. Usually what we find by this point in the event, uh, those who are particularly dedicated have been able to uh, get probably more keys than they're going to spend, but not everybody. And so, you know, there's still uh, a lot of key farming uh, going on. I'll get to the uh, weekend bonus. It is a heroic and epic XP boost. I'll get that number for you uh, when I'm not battling uh, whites and doom spheres. So just a uh, just a little bit here. I rage, being a barbarian and all. There we go. I'm so angry! Yeah. Okay, let's see. Are we going to fix the problem with the suit of armor breakables? Uh, Craig, can you give me a little more info as to what you mean there? I'm not familiar with that one, and I apologize. Uh, someone's saying uh, maybe I shouldn't uh, participate in Movember this year because the scruffy look is, is working for me. So uh, I should mention that, yeah, Extra Life is going on, and I, will, I do want to do Movember this year, but I'm not quite sure how I'm going to make it all work time-wise. Uh, I have a lot on my plate right now, and I don't really have time to do Movember in November, and so I don't quite know what that means yet. Whether maybe this is the first year I don't do Movember, or perhaps I do Movember in the latter half of November and make it kind of a shorter period. Um, I mean, I know that shaving and barefaced me with the mustache ain't the best look. I don't care about that. That doesn't matter to me. Um, but the I, I every year it's been more and more challenging to, to fit both Extra Life and Movember in the same time, since Extra Life used to be in October and is now largely in November. Uh, that means I'm pretty much having to do both at the same time if I want to do them. And since they offer the same rewards and benefits, it's kind of a lot of extra management to do. But I believe pretty strongly in the Movember movement, uh, particularly men's health issues and making sure that us dudes uh, break some of those stigmas that are associated with mental health, uh, help, reaching out for help, both medical and uh, mental and otherwise, and in some ways they're the same, aren't they? So it, it, I believe pretty strongly in Movember, which is why I really want to do it. I just don't know how I'm going to make it all work this year. Uh, I'm kind of just rolling into a bunch of work, and I'm, I'm probably just going to have to figure it all out on the fly. But at the very least, I'll be shaving in November, and I'll be raising money for November. Uh, and we'll just kind of have to see what happens there. 
I, I just probably isn't going to be November 1st, because that's Monday. And there is just no way I'm going to be ready to, to launch the November fundraising campaign on Monday. All right. Make keys stackable to 100, they take up bag space. Well, you know what? Just use those keys. Why do you need 100 keys in your bag? If you if you don't need 100 keys, then don't farm all those keys cuz they're just going to waste, right? Cuz they expire at the end of the year or the before the next event. And if you can benefit from them, then why aren't you running the dungeons? You still have, will have plenty of opportunity to give them to your friends and stuff without having them be a stack of 100. We need more epic cleric hirelings, someone writes. I'm down for that. Because, you know, 10 keys is, lar is enough to do a full run of all the quests, so I think that's ultimately why it stacks to 10, is that once you've got 10 keys, you've got enough to do a full cycle there. Uh, question, let's see. Were, was I saying that epic destinies are being built into the leveling experience and will no longer be sold in the DDO store? Everyone will have access to epic destinies in update 51. Um, stay tuned. We're going to have an official announcement about that in the release notes. My understanding is that as of today... You know what, let me actually look that up before I say anything. Yeah, I don't want to make a definitive statement on that right now. I need to I need to confer with some people. I know that we're doing a uh, grant for people who have Epic Destinies, and some of the details of that are being worked out uh, this morning in a Teams chat. So I don't really want to uh, get too in the weeds on that one. We'll have more to say on that next week. Can I find the office anymore? Yes, I should be able to. It's been a while, but it's just, uh, you know, follow the stopped traffic into the office. And then I'm there. Yeah. Uh, where am I on the map? Here we go. Uh, since update 51 has been pushed back a week, will Night Revels be extended by a week? Update 51 has not been pushed back by a week. It is still set for November 3rd, next week. So someone uh, asking about, is the drop rate low? You're getting about two keys per run. A lot of it depends as to whether you are running on Reaper uh, epic Elite, Hard, or what have you. If you're running on Reaper, you have a much higher chance of getting keys because those keys are available uh, with every champion you defeat and everything. So statistically, oops, 
statistically, you've got a much higher chance of getting keys. If you're running on Elite, you know, you're getting fewer champions and thus fewer chests and thus fewer keys. Particularly, there is an option, you know, in any chest to get a key. So for those who aren't running on higher difficulties, um, they're struggling a little bit to get keys through the new system. So for them, they're largely uh, going through the graveyard here to get their stuff. Uh, that said, I have heard other people say the opposite, that even while running Reaper, they're not getting enough keys. So I think RNG in that is, you know, uh, doing its thing. But it's something we're um, looking to consider further for the next Night Rebels. At the very least for November, what I want to do is have a private fundraising drive where I do maybe a, a charity stream, things like that, on my personal channel at the very least, play some DDO um, and what have you and do that. So at the very least I'm going to be doing something. I just don't know that I'm going to be doing uh, a full month long drive on the DDO Motro side. But I'll, I'll figure that out as time permits. You can't pick up what the suit of armor with the cursor, you can only use key mapping key to pick it up. And which quest is this? I don't want to give bad info on the Epic Destiny question, and that's the main reason I am hesitant to just sort of flippantly answer that. Uh, as you can see, last week when I, I was just kind of going off the top of my head, uh, I caused a little bit of a kerfluffle. <laughs> I'd rather not do that. All right, I'm going to pop into the quest if that's okay. Hopefully everyone's got a key that you'll be able to do, and I'll start here with Haverdashed. Uh, so the drop rate on the keys for the non-graveyard version of Night Rebels is using essentially the same system that Snowpeaks uses, which is dependent on getting champion drops. So yes, um, it's not based on Reaper, it's based on champions. It's just that in Reaper you get a lot more champions, so therefore you get more stuff. Uh, so as a proxy, uh, the drop rate is not based on Reaper, it's based on champions. A percentage every time you defeat a champion. It's just from a practical perspective, uh, you get a lot of champions on Epic Elite, you know, Legendary Elite, what have you. Heroic Elite. Um, but you get more on Reaper. So for those who are trying to min-max things, it's true that if you're doing that, you probably want to be running Reaper. I, you know, Growler, if, if you think that's true, that the drop rate of keys is so plentiful that people don't want us uh, to increase the chances, um, that would be news to me. <laughs> uh, I, I believe I've heard feedback to the contrary, but uh, that's great. That's great to hear that you're not running into any sort of concern about farming keys for Night Revels using the new system. All right, let me pop over to YouTube quick. Oh no, someone had their uh, sister have a tree go through their roof in Massachusetts. Ouch, yeah. A lot of down power lines and, and what have you as well. Um, thankfully, no issues where I am the woman, the sound of ravenous on my property. But from behind the door sets your on the I am not familiar with a bug uh, with the cerulean wave effect on the crown of snow. I apologize. Uh, make sure you do have a bug in for that. 
and I will try to follow up on that. Uh, what is uh, the bug is that the effect is happening on the crown of snow, but shouldn't, if I'm reading that correctly. What about mob rebalancing with update 51 coming next week? Yes, uh, that is happening. Uh, it's happening in just about every adventure pack. There may be a few places where we'll have additional work to do, but the intention is to have the vast majority of that balancing work done for next week. Uh, it's true, Torin. The shield is the shield from Saltmarsh with a pumpkin in its mouth. <laughs> I mean, that is, that is, in fact, actually what it is. Uh, working as intended. Sorry, though, if, if that's not uh, attractive to you. Hopefully we'll, we'll have items that you'll appreciate uh, more for future Night Rebels. All right, and let me pop on over in a second here to Facebook. You never got a notice on Facebook about the live stream. Mm, sorry to hear that. Yeah, I will have to we'll have to look into uh, an issue where some people didn't have their Night Revels first time quest bonus reset. Uh, I believe that's because we did it over uh, the summer, right? So people who did ran it over the summer didn't have it reset for October. I'm gonna look into that. My understanding is we should largely have that reset per Night Revels event. I don't know why that wasn't able to happen this time around. Any plans to revamp Reaver's Refuge? Not really. Sorry. Uh, maybe someday, but it's definitely not on any kind of plan. If, uh, James, if you did purchase an expansion you already own, please do uh, get in touch with account support and they should be able to take care of you. No problem. Uh, there is not a challenge ingredients for bonus days this weekend. We did do one, though, during Night Revels, but uh, we, we that's not this weekend. This weekend is a 20%, 20% heroic and epic XP. It's true that means you're not going to get an ingredients boost, but I think the people who are looking to level up their epic destinies, for example, or get their characters ready to be level 20 for next week will appreciate the 20% heroic and epic XP boost. Uh, that'll kick off late morning Eastern time tomorrow and run through Sunday. Why did we get rid of the candy from last year's Night Revels? Well, the candy always resets. So that's not new. What is new is that we didn't put new candies out for this year's Night Revels. Uh, the reason for that is there was concern over balance with the items and that's something that uh, I mean that was a decision that that was made for that reason um, I it is my hope that we'll be able to bring those candies back next time around I guess that's about all I'd want to say on, on that. But, uh, you know, I appreciate the uh, the people doing the work uh, made that decision that they weren't able to rebalance them in time for this year's Night Rebels. I've seen the feedback uh, that um, there are people who disagree with that assessment, uh, particularly because we have a dodge cap in place, for example, that the festival... Uh, Candy does not bypass, so perhaps that with that cap in place, uh, 
the issue of getting a dodge based on your listen skill is a little less. But regardless, uh, that's something that we will hopefully bring back for the next Night Rebels. When is the portable clicky system coming to DDO user face like the horses today? Sorry, I don't understand that question, Jonathan. I apologize. I, I don't really understand what you're talking about. Soul, Donald Swills by any chance you have a D door. Or Sonic. Do you have a D door? Uh, by any chance you have a D door, Sonic. Saves time in this quest. Uh, Ron, I appreciate the feedback about uh, having healing potions better scale to the new higher range of hit, relatively recent higher range of hit points that players are seeing nowadays. Uh, that is a bit of balance work that we will need to probably do some work on at some point in the future. Are there any plans to improve gear at levels 24 through 26 uh, with smoothing the leveling process from 20 to 30? It's hard to rely on Borderlands Salt Marsh gear from 21 to Legendary gear at 29. Having new item sets in the 24 to 26 range would help. Uh, no promises on that, but I would say that having a better leveling curve uh, would lead us to be in a better position to do that work because there would be more value in doing that work. Have the Dalera Night Revel quests give at least one key in the end chest. I suppose that's that's an option. That's something we could do. I don't think so, though. Uh, what server do I play on? I play on a bunch of servers. Uh, when I personally play, it is usually on Thalanus these days. Um, but in terms of the live stream, I am back to sort of rotating it up. Uh, not every two weeks like I was. I'd prefer to actually spend a little more time to work on my characters. Uh, the problem with doing a new character every two weeks like this is that you just never really get to progress very much on any of your characters. So they end up getting quite a bit behind uh, in terms of gear and progress. I'd rather be able to, to focus on and bring my characters up to snuff a little bit better uh, for the live stream on the different worlds. So that's really what I have going on here. So it's, it's a little more of a looser uh, schedule than it used to be. Uh, can we talk about the bonus again? Never mention the numbers. Yeah, that was uh, before I did mention the numbers. But to reiterate, yes, 20% heroic and epic XP boost. That'll be kicking off late morning Eastern time tomorrow and running through Sunday.
Continuing on Facebook here, the drop rate of keys is, quote, not plentiful. Uh, I mean, that's that's the feedback I've been mostly hearing, so, but, you know. I'm sorry uh, to Jonathan as well, who had a friend banned when someone hacked their account. They put in a ticket, said he broke the code of conduct, etc. I can't, I mean, I couldn't speak to your friend's case, even if I did know the specifics of it, which I do not. Um, I can't say whether they would be unbanned, because I don't know what kind of code of conduct might be broken. If they were, for example, sharing that account and that's how they got hacked, then that is a violation of the Code of Conduct, so the answer is probably no. But I, I don't have even remotely enough circumstance uh, or knowledge of the case to be able to answer that question. I apologize. Any news on Isle of Tread? It is happening. That's, that's about as much as I could say right now. We are uh, already hard at work on it. Uh, well, some people are. And then some people are not. Oops. Uh, wrong way. Sorry. Uh, wrong way there. Does 20% heroic and epic XP include Saga turn-ins? Oh no, I don't know the answer to that. Does it? Can the chat help me out on that one? Do our, does our heroic and epic XP boost impact Saga turn-ins? I want to say... No, right? The, the potions do, but I don't think the world boost does. Right? No, is what the people are saying as well. Okay. Because it's a quest flag, essentially, not a, a universal flag. Any plans to offer upgrades to older expansions to collectors? Would love to get the Sharn robot. Uh, potentially in the future, uh, we could do that. It would most likely involve uh, bringing those previous expansions to the newer DDO market uh, and doing some, essentially making new versions of all the expansions that we would be able to sell. Uh, I think that's on a that's on our longer term agenda, but I wouldn't have any sort of ETA as to when that might happen. Sorry. Why did we remove Resurrection Chamber? We always rotate them out. So there's more quests than there are spaces for it, and we usually do, you know, try to keep Keep it uh, fresh a little bit for Night Revels year over year by um, rotating in and out which quests are available. And then as we bring make new quests in the future, that, you know, is, is how that goes. Uh, somebody wants us to update traps. Uh, it sounds trap making. Uh, that would be a, a nice thing to do someday. I think it's one of those things that's going to have to fit, compete with a lot of other priorities in a way that has made it difficult to make happen. But theoretically, that could happen in the future. Yes. Can we get permanent hires in our bags like mounts? Potentially. Uh, that's come up as well, about a way to uh, 
half ruminant hirelings, if not in a bag, like the old mount system, but perhaps even some kind of um, tab or something like that for your permanent hirelings. That's that's come up. No promises, but it's on the it's on the list of things that uh, kind of a wish list of things that could happen someday. We've talked about it too. I'm an admin, make a 20 for every server. Well, I could do that. That's true, I couldn't do that on this account, but I could theoretically uh, play on my admin account and make admin characters and then level them up and do whatever on the live stream. But the thing is, is generally admin characters don't face at all the same kind of thing. It doesn't matter because I can't really die unless I choose to. Um, and there's no point in gaining XP because I can just sort of set my level. So when I do the live stream, I do it on regular play characters, not on official admin characters. Um, you don't generally play the game with admin characters. There's not much point to it. Admins are meant for administrative work, kind of research work, uh, bug repros, you know, all the other kind of stuff that that you would actually do in game with an admin character. Playing an admin character on a live stream doesn't really make much sense. Uh, and it's kind of pointless. So I'd rather play with regular characters instead. Uh, I can show you my stats, but, you know, remember, the whole reason I'm doing this is because it's very suboptimal. <laughs> and that's why I'm playing this character, uh, to, to get him up to snuff a little bit more. So I am not in any way, shape, or form uh, putting up any of my characters in general uh, as something to emulate. But this is where I'm currently sitting on my level 17 Barbarian. My gear is way out of date, too. I've got old gear, old out-of-date level gear and what have you. Alright, uh, back to Twitch. Uh, any thought on when Otto's boxes may be available next? I would say the odds of that would be most likely something in the range of, I mean, no promises, but we usually bring them back for the big holiday sales. I think historically that's just pretty much uh, de rigueur, as they say. So it wouldn't surprise me if we found something like that uh, happening for our upcoming holiday sales. Is DDO compatible with Windows 11? Uh, Jumbi of Batezu asks on Twitch. We have not had an official assessment of DDO's compatibility with Windows 11. So I can't definitively answer that question today. I can give you an anecdotal answer though, which is that players have already downloaded Windows 11 and are already playing DDO just fine using it. I have not heard of any reports from those players who are playing DDO on Windows 11 that they had any concerns whatsoever getting DDO to work with it. So that bodes well, uh, but in terms of an official company statement of whether we're supported, supporting Windows 11, uh, that is not likely to happen uh, for a while. We would need to, to have um, people do, engineers and others do kind of a compatibility check before we would make an official statement. But I can tell you, we already have people doing it uh, among our players, and they're telling us that there's no issue whatsoever. So that is, I guess, about the closest we're going to get to that.
I will tell you that my computer is one of them that can't get Windows 11. So that kind of stinks. Okay, so that suit of armor bug has to do with breakables uh, in any place where you've got uh, collectible dropping from a breaking armor. Okay. Um, probably a pretty low priority bug, but sure. Maybe something that's maybe that's something we can get to at some point here. Can we make a lump of coal useful by allowing a certain amount to be crunched to a diamond? This has to do with the upcoming uh, festival. The lump of coal is not meant to be useful. It is deliberately not useful because it's a lump of coal. ETA on 2021 raid. Uh, the ETA on the 2021 raid is probably 2022. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. But I think, uh, I think that that is probably going to be early next year. When our next raid comes out. But I don't think we're calling it the 2021 raid. Uh, more than our next raid. Do I ever play outside of the weekly stuff? Sure do. Yes, I do. I do play DDO just uh, for fun on my own. As a matter of fact, I was uh, this weekend. I was mostly spending my time uh, in game getting those plus two con augments for my characters on the Lannis. Because hey, plus two con augments are good. I think the, the intention was to include a new raid before the end of the year, but I think just due to basic timing concerns that that has been uh, pushed a little bit into the start of the new year rather than try to get it out by mid-December. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But I believe that that's... Uh, the latest plan I've heard is that we will still be doing a free dungeon in December, but that the quest pack that was going to include a couple of new quests along with the raid is most likely going to be released in kind of early-ish January now. And that's just to, to give people uh, the time to make it. I, we usually do a free dungeon. We don't. I don't think we've done it every year, but in general, we usually have something like a free dungeon in December of just about every year. And I think that that's still the plan this time around. But it won't be holiday themed. It'll just be out in December.
I will leave it up to others to decide which Night Revel's quest is the best one. I think I might be partial to Snitch, uh, snitch in the Lich, but that's just personal. Personal taste. Yeah, Smashing Pumpkins is good too. I, yeah, I don't know if I can pick a favorite. Grave work isn't bad either, yeah. I have not been playing on Sorlona much in recent years, I have to admit. I do still have characters there, uh, but I haven't really been playing on Sorlona as much. True, I haven't been on Orion in a long time either, but that's that's part of why I'm doing this. I got it stuck on Thalanus because Thalanus is the one where I've got my most developed characters, and and it's not always fun to to play characters that are behind the curve on the live stream. But it kind of opens me up to uh, people chucking tomatoes and what have you. But uh, but that's fine. Uh, but so the part of my plan here is to. Um, work on these characters a little better so I can bring up the general quality of my characters on the different servers. And what that's going to mean is rather than just sort of rotate every other week, um, I spend a little time working on these characters. No real news to announce regarding a new race or a class. Uh, I'm sure that we will be doing both of those things in the future. I know we will. I just have no idea um, on any kind of timetable, and, and there's nothing to announce at this time. You know, one of the things I, I would say about the kind of Chuck and Tomatoes comment is for as much as people tell me that I always run gimped characters and that, there's a whole other group of people who tell me uh, that I'm doing just fine and I am no weaker than they are. So uh, for those of you out there who think everybody can handle R10 Reaper and everybody has the best gear, uh, it, it just simply is not true. good timing here in terms of being able to wrap this up uh, in time to, to hit the road right quick.
Uh, why is my wrath not showing up? Oh, it's because I never activated the fourth ward, huh? Uh-oh. Where in the world is that fourth ward? Well, I'm out of time. I don't think I've got time to activate that fourth ward now. Shoot. Um. Oh, what's the cow? There it is. Spectral form Yay. All right. Materializes nearby. Yay. Chill the fright runs down your spine as it approaches. We thought about adding a sentient gem slot to Thunderforged. Uh, I don't know that that has ever really come up. All right. Whew. Well, I managed to get that done. Yay. There we go. All right, thank you so much, everyone, for watching the weekly Wednesday lunchtime live stream. Managed to keep it pretty busy. Next week, assuming everything works out, we're going to be launching right into Update 51 here. So we'll have Epic Destinies and a whole lot more uh, to talk about next week as we get ready for that, including release notes and, and what have you. So lots happening in the world of DDO. Hope you're enjoying Night Revels here for the final weekend. Hope you enjoy that 20% Heroic and Epic XP boost. And I will see you next week. Have fun, everyone. Thanks.